What's up everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby and this is your 2023-2024 winter outlook. So with the winter outlook, it's different than a seven day forecast. You need to look at ocean currents and more long term trends. You may have heard recently that we are in an El Nino and that typically has a pretty big impact on our winter in the United States. El Nino is the ocean currents in the Pacific. We'll talk more about that in a second, but what does a typical El Nino winter look like for the US? Well, typically warmer than average temperatures across the north, cooler than average temperatures across the south and southeast, and also wetter than average conditions across the south, so more precipitation. And according to the Climate Prediction Center, who puts out their winter outlooks every year, they agree with the typical El Nino winter above average temperatures up north, near or below average temperatures in southern parts of the United States, and below average precip up north, and above average precipitation in the southern part of the United States. And we are definitely in, in El Nino right now. You can see the sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific Ocean are warmer than average. You can see these orange shaded areas are warmer than average sea surface temperatures, but are we in a strong El Nino or a weak El Nino? Well, it looks like we're kind of in the middle, moderate El Nino, because we have the much warmer than average temperatures across the equator, but we don't have the much cooler than average temperatures to the north and south of the equator. It's just slightly cooler than normal. So in order to get a good forecast of what we might see in central Arkansas this winter, let's look at previous winters that we saw moderate El Ninos. And since 1950, when the Climate Prediction Center started keeping records of the sea surface temperatures in the Pacific, we've had six winters under that moderate El Nino phase. So that's 1963, 64, 65, 66, 68, 69, 86, 87, 94, 95, and the most recent, 2009 and 2010. And there's a pretty clear trend between the snowfall, the rain, and the temperatures here in central Arkansas during those years. You can see for the snowfall category, we've seen near or above average snowfall five out of the six winters. Only one with below average snowfall was in 1986. In 1968, we only had 2.3 inches, but that's about an inch or two near our average of four inches of snow here in Little Rock. As far as rainfall, a lot of years with near average rainfall, but only one with below average, so that really goes with the trend of El Nino winters bringing us above average rainfall. And temperatures, a lot of years near average and two years of below average or above average temperatures. So we're actually pretty close to average for those ones as well. So overall for the winter forecast, the forecast calls for above average snowfall. I'm going with five to 10 inches. That's above our normal in snowfall of 4.4 inches, slightly above average rainfall, 15 to 17 inches of rain during the winter, which is good for the drought conditions that we are currently in, and temperatures near or slightly above average. So the only reason I'm going slightly above average is because it's been really difficult to get those long, cold stretches during the winters just because of the whole overall climate has been slowly warming. So overall, we are looking like we're gonna see a pretty snowy, cool and wet winter across Arkansas and a big portion of the south will likely see a little bit more snow. And that's a big contrast to last year. In Little Rock, we didn't record any measurable snowfall for the entire winter. And we almost had the warmest winter on record with temperatures about five degrees, averaging five degrees warmer than normal. We also saw wetter than average winter last year. So it's gonna be the exact opposite with the exception of the precipitation. So remember, cool, snowy, and wet conditions expected this winter.